What's up, y'all? Scotty Ledoux. I want to talk about something a little bit different today. Um, you probably noticed if you've been an electronics retailer lately that there is a growing selection of Bluetooth enabled devices all the way from the wireless earpieces that connect to your mobile phones down to Bluetooth speakers. And every manufacturer just about, at least every major manufacturer has thrown their hat into this ring. Um, a lot of these devices have very cool features. It's more than just listening to your media through a remote speaker with no wires. Um, they have remote uh, control capabilities now. You can initiate phone calls. You can answer phone calls on speakers. You can uh, control your media player by remote with the buttons on the speaker. Um, all kinds of cool things that they can do. And they make life really convenient um, when you're, say, cleaning the house. You can go from room to room and not lose uh, your media. You don't have to blast it so that you wake up the whole neighborhood if you live in an apartment complex like I do. You can take the sound with you from the bathroom into the kitchen, into the living room, into your bedroom. And it's it's a great, great thing. Um, but how many of us have an old computer that has media on it maybe that we'd like to consume through a Bluetooth device that maybe is still running Windows XP or something like that, an old dinosaur that maybe is in the kitchen that was purchased before Bluetooth uh, capability was kind of part of the standard in every computer. Well, probably a lot of us, I know I do, and you may be familiar with this or you may not, but there's a way to make those older devices Bluetooth enabled, very inexpensive and very simple. It's called a micro Bluetooth adapter. They um, range if you buy them at a retailer uh, brick and mortar store probably going to range from between 15 to 20 dollars depending on if you catch it on sale or not uh, but online you can get them for probably as cheap as two or three bucks um, very simple all it is is a teeny tiny little device it's easy to lose actually but um, you just pop this into your Bluetooth, or I'm sorry, your USB port. If you have an available USB port on your computer, hopefully it's not so old that there's no USB. Um, but if there is one, then you pop that in after you've installed the software that comes bundled with the adapter and you make that computer Bluetooth enabled. It's just that simple. So this is a quick look at what it actually looks like to install the drivers and the USB adapter here. Um, the first step, I think I misspoke earlier and I said that you install the software first, but you actually do put in the adapter into the USB port first. Again, it's really small, so you have to be careful um, that you don't drop it. But once you pop it in, then you take the uh, CD-ROM that came bundled with it put that into your uh, ROM drive and install the drivers for the USB uh, adapter. So once you've installed the disk, you're gonna get this pop-up window in Windows. Just double click on the run file and depending on which manufacturer de uh, device you purchase, your screen, your screen may look a little bit different than this. But basically, you're looking for an option to install the driver for the Bluetooth adapter. So this process actually took a few minutes. Um, I jumped ahead where it took a while. So it's going to seem like it's going by pretty quick when this part, the preparing to install portion, actually took a little while. So if it ends up taking you a little bit longer, don't worry, it's supposed to. So from this point, you get prompts just to uh, continue on. You just hit next or agree or whatever it asks you to do uh, in order to move the process along. You may see on my screen right now, uh, uninstall process. That's because I actually had gone through this already and I had to uninstalled before it reinstalled but it's basically going to look the same it's going to go a little bit uh, quicker through this portion so once it gets through this process it may give you a message that says that the drivers have not been installed properly and that's perfectly normal uh, normally it 
requires a reboot before you're able to actually complete the process. So you see the bubble on the bottom telling you that it's installed the drivers or it's installing the drivers. And there it is now it's saying that it's not installed properly. So I've jumped ahead. I rebooted my computer and now it's back up. The windows you see in the middle are my hard drive, so you can disregard those. What you want to look at is the Bluetooth logo on the lower right hand corner and the bubble dialog bubble down there. It shows that it's installing the driver, so that's the last step in completing the process. And in a moment, it should say that everything is good. Let me clear these windows out of the way. Okay, and now it's saying that the device is ready to use. So that means that your USB Bluetooth adapter has been installed properly and is ready to go. So I'm going to right click on this Bluetooth logo down here. And that's how you add your devices. So I have a Bluetooth speaker on my desk right now that's turned on. And that's what shows up. If I were to uh, link that up, I would just double click on that. And as you add more items that you want to be able to pair, for example, to your computer that has the adapter plugged into it, you would just do the same process. You would uh, turn those items on. They would appear in that window. You would double click them and it would go through the process of pairing and connecting. It might ask you for a password or a pin number. And those usually come along with the literature in your Bluetooth devices. Uh, and once you have them in that list, then you right click on those items and there's normally an option to connect. So that's pretty much it. And um, once you get to that point, you're good to go. And you you know, you can uh, start using all of your Bluetooth devices with your old school desktop or laptop. So again, that's it pretty much. Um, I hope this information was useful to you all. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please like subscribe and comment and we'll see you in the next video.